Hello, I'm Avoiding Relegation, and this is Versus 5. It's the final episode, if you don't know what Versus 5 is. It is a competition. Team Wrestle of the World versus Team GB. Details are down below, and please make sure you follow the Custom Profit for all of the updates and uh, most up-to-date information about who is doing what. And obviously, the next update you get will be pretty much announcing the winning team. So, uh, very, very important one. We are LAFC, and uh, we're coming up to the final match of the season. But uh, before I actually get into that, what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to show you how we did in the Cup. So, to start with, we'll have a look at the US Cup. Um... Starting the fourth round, we beat Houston comfortably away 3-0. Corey Baird scoring a Latif Bless... I always struggle with that, don't I? Latif Blessing, it's the last time he hear me struggle. Latif Blessing, two goals. Um, the fifth round, we faced Orange County at home, and we beat them comfortably 3-0. This time, Jesus Morello getting one, Jose Cifuentes getting one, and Carlos Vela getting one. So, uh... That got us into the quarterfinal where we faced off at home against Columbus, beat them 2-0. Diego Rossi and Musov Musovis Musov Musovski. Musovski. Yeah. There's a button, there's a reason why I'm not very good at pronouncing his name. He never plays for us, but obviously he played in the quarterfinal. Anyway, we got to the semi-final. We did lose 2-1 at extra time. Um, against Real Salt Lake, but uh, Francesco Ginella did put us 1-0 up very early in the game, six minutes, but uh it was not to be, so uh, we now have a quick look at the League's Cup. Started out in the first round, faced off against Pumas, who are, of course, from Mexico. And we beat them 2-0. Diego Rossi scored, Julian Green scored. It was a fairly decent game. The quarterfinal, however, a little bit harder. Tigres, um, who are a fairly, uh, as you can see, well-known team from Mexico. We struggled. 2-2, um, but we did beat them in the end on penalties, which was uh, quite exciting, uh, even though Rodrigo's missed one. Fortunately, Sierra missed one as well. But like I say, they went 2-0 up, though. That was the interesting part. And then we fought back to bring it to 2-2 and take it to penalties and eventually win. But uh, when it came to the final... Uh, sorry, after that, that was the quarterfinal, we faced off in the semifinal, New York FC. NYCFC, indeed. Um, away from home, and we beat them 1-0. Not a very exciting match, but uh, we won it. That was the important thing. But, uh, of course, came to the final and uh, faced off against Seattle. And we lost 2-1. Carlos Villa, the only player to score for us. Um, and really, that was him only pulling one back, if you know what I mean. But basically, after half time, there was two bookings. And that was it. We couldn't come back in. Couldn't get back into the game at all, as you can see. Didn't have the shots. Um, didn't have the XG. Um, Plenty of the fouls, but uh, yeah, we just struggled. We had most of the possession, but we just couldn't break them down. And as you can see, Rossi, Baird, and Rodriguez all playing like absolute tripe. Now, the interesting thing is, that was the last game before the last game you saw me play here in the uh, competition for the league. Um, which, of course, we lost 1-0, which was uh, unfortunate. And uh, certain people didn't expect that, and neither did I, to be fair. But that might be why we did just lose in the Cup. So... Yeah, that's really where things stand, so let's go and have a look at the match. Okay, so this is the team. This is how we line up. As you notice, it's a slightly different tactic. Um, I'm still employing the wide playmaker. Um, I have dropped the central midfielder down, and I've brought the left winger up. I wasn't necessarily getting great performances out there. Um, Rossi doesn't like to play out there. Vela doesn't like to play out there. Vela doesn't mind playing where Rodriguez is, but Rodriguez doesn't like playing out left. So it, it made sense. It's also what I've been doing, or, or similar to what I've been doing in my uh, Halifax Wanderers save, which... Uh, Will be shown in the next episode of that, but uh, certainly for this, this is how we line up. Like I say, we got Vela up there as a Trekatista with Rossi. See, the thing is, even though they got all these lovely stars and all these lovely average ratings and that, they're not that necessarily prolific as I would like. Um, certainly not as lone strikers. But putting them together seems to be working okay. So the way this works, obviously, we've got Marilla and Segura at the back. We've got Hansen. Well, he's basically a stand-in <laughs> right back. He's the uh, backup player. He's only one of two players I've bought that I've been able to play. And as you can see, he's not exactly first-team ready, but unfortunately due to injuries, etc., we have no choice. So he's playing there. But that is a wing-back on defence. So basically that is a defensive back three. Um, we've got Kay. Um, he's actually back fit, um, though he has got issues of being jaded. Um, um, but he's actually missed out being picked for Canada at the moment, otherwise he wouldn't be here, which is good for us, because we are without, and I've forgotten his blinking name already, Palacios. So, 
that's uh, not great to be without him, but like I say, K is decent. It's just he's a bit jaded, so not ideal. Um, but obviously, his complete wing back on attack. He's going to be hopefully putting in some crosses, feeder balls, all the rest of it. Um, and then midfield, we've got two defensive midfielders. I'm playing um, uh, a ball winning midfielder next to a deep line playmaker on defend um, with a Mazala on attack up front. A Mazala providing a little bit more width up front there. And then, like I say, Rodriguez, wide playmaker, getting all that room to play in. And boy, does he. He likes to go everywhere. From kickoff, you'll see him down. Oh, well, say kickoff. From a goal kick, you'll see him down here, not up here. Do you know what I mean? He just... He goes wherever he likes, and it, it works really quite well, generally. So, uh, yeah. And then, as I mentioned, slightly offset, just to give Rodriguez a bit of room, because he does like to make like, runs into the box as well. Almost giving us three up top. Um, like I say, I've got advanced forward and Vela playing as a Trekatista. I've often found, although I haven't done this the first time, really, I've done it in FN21, uh, a front two of uh, Trekatista and advanced forward, if you can get some decent ones, works great. It was fantastic in my Lilstrom save. Um, and uh, for the short time I've used it here, it's actually been quite good. So, if only I'd thought of it earlier. But never mind. It, well, it is what it is. But uh, that's how we learn, of course, Bendik. Still in goal. We've given him a new contract because, of course, he's been great. He's been absolutely brilliant. I'm very happy with his performances and uh, how he's done for us. So we will submit the team. Roald Hansen is not Matt Sharp. Team's warming up. And that is how we line up against Sporting Kansas City. And, of course, Julian Green, looking aggressive as always. Um, pick up where you left off last time, because we did do particularly well. Go make a difference. Go make a difference. And go make a difference. Uh, I was thinking to change, thinking about a sudden change of tactical strategy when it was being a, a good run of form. Uh, actually, I changed it because we were having a bad run of form. So, you know what? The assistant can handle that. Not interested in your questions, man. So, yeah. This is how we line up. It is a little bit offset, but trust me, it works really quite well. Um, for a possession game, at least. And uh, that is how Sporting Kansas City line up. Uh, they too lost... Well, I say they too. We didn't lose our last match, but they did. We just lost our last one. Goal difference has been important here. Uh, very much the number of goals we haven't conceded. If you know anyone, the number we have conceded being low. Lela with the kickoff. Reminding me I should be going to full match. And Green is on the ball. We've got a ball over the top. But has been cleared. Bizio finds Ile out wide to Quinones. Who is tackled soundly? Oh my goodness. They're already going to look at VAR. That was outside of the box. Problem is, every time I've seen him go to VAR, I've never yet it see seen it be no penalty. Not yet. Not once. <laughs> I spoke too soon, but it is obviously a very tight free kick. Um, we are on attacking at the moment, but you know what? Oh my. Let's go defensive. Just because they are pressing us. I know it's only two minutes in, but still, they got a corner. And we are a bit vulnerable with corner. Zussi. Oh, Sifuentes with the interception. Can't go on a run because he's just not that quick. But he does clear the ball upfield. For a throw in for Kansas City. Zussi to Russell. Again there coming forward. Saloy. You know what? I wonder if we can't press them. I don't think I am. I think I'm, yeah, I'm regrouping. Let's, let's try counter-pressing. See if we can't uh, knock them off the ball a bit. Quinones in the box again. Segura with the tackle, but Quinones gets it back. It is all sporting Kansas City. Bizio is getting busy. But it is now thrown for LAFC. Um, feel like I want to Fire us up. Oh, Zussi fouled K. K with a free kick now. Four minutes in. K tries to put it in front of Vela. That has been cleared. Russell now to Walter. It's Aloy. K grabs that one. Green to Sefuentes. Murillo.
Bendik now. Come on, boys. I know we're playing defensively, but still. K. Okay. Green now. Back to Sifuentes. Amarillo with the pass back. Oh, that looked a bit too close. Segura, Sifuentes. We're not getting forward. Why are we not getting forward, gents? Russell on the ball, but he is tackled. Fortunately, quite legally. Let's... Let's drop all that down. We'll keep those on. Counter pressing made no difference. I'm going to stop counter attacking too. Actually, I'll stick with the counter attack. We are distributing to that playmaker. Let us maybe instead distribute the fullbacks. Okay, Zusi, Bizio, Ile, Russell. Saved by Bendik, but a lovely little move there by Sporting Kansas City. Bendik with a goal kick. Trying to find Vela. Vela does not want to be found. Russell now. Green. Yeah, clearly going defensive hasn't worked for us either, has it? You know, Nez. Oh, lovely clearance to make it a throw in, but goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to go back to balanced. Lovely clearance by Atuesta. Brown for sport in Kansas City. I mean, Rodriguez isn't necessarily having a great time. I mean, nobody's having a particularly great time, right? But they are all over us, and I'm not really sure what to do about it. Um... Don't want to drop the defensive line down anymore. And you they are coming in for crosses. Let's try it. Let's, let's go up. Oh, there was something else on it. Take that off. As I didn't have a spot to train it last week. That might make a difference. Green has been fouled. And it is a free kick relay. Sifuentes. Not to be. Although it looks like we're uh, making one or two more chances. I don't think it's shout time yet. Yes, it is. Demand more. Zussi forward to Russell. Russell and Zussi have been dangerous. Bizio. Goodness. Quinones should have been offside there. I think it'd be a free kick to us. It's coming up to 10 minutes. I feel like I need to go on key highlights, even though we're not exactly... Uh, Doing a grand job here. In terms of getting it out of the fence, if nothing else. Run at him a bit. Not that we are necessarily the best dribblers, but then technically neither do they. Crossed in, Bendit claims it though. We can call it dangerous. Just better than we're doing. Rodriguez on the ball now. Finds Rossi. Hansen. Not up to much, bless him. I say that, he's playing just about average. Rodriguez in the box. This is probably the first time I've been in the box. Hansen. He who has less than 10 in crossing did actually manage to get the crossing. Building up again from the back this time. Hansen coming forward. Rodriguez in front of him. Rodriguez not really having the best day, I would suggest. To the point I'm, even this early stage, tempted to... I don't know, maybe shuffle him around a bit. A twist to Demar Sifuentes now. Giving away. Possession. So I'm going to put Rodriguez up here. And I don't. Yeah, he does. He doesn't mind that. And we can put Vela down there and see. Actually, can he play 
I must be advanced forward. It could be a false nine. I need somebody who's going to be a bit more supporting because I don't think we're getting the ball up to them. Which normally isn't a problem. Sifuentes grabs the ball. I'm glad we're not going in too hard tackling because the way they've been coming at us. Bella finds K. K on a run, looking to get that cross in. Not to be Russell now on a counter attack. I'm going to go key highlights. Just because otherwise this episode will include the entire match. Um, but like I say, with the tiredness and the, the mucking around, oh, Rodriguez dispossessed. It's going to key highlights. I'm glad that wasn't one of them. So, yeah, that's where we sit. We haven't even had a shot on yet. Not a shot, not a shot on target to their five and four, which is a good turnaround for them. Oh, we've had a shot now. Um, I'm going to go positive. K with a throw in Rodriguez. Cleared, but only as far as Murillo. Segura now. Vela, a twist to Rossi off the post. And he can't do much with the rebound. And it is a goal kick for Sport in Kansas City. That was a good effort from them, but obviously not great for us. Is that the same instruction it is? Thrown again for LAFCK. LAFCK. Rodriguez. What a fantastic effort. Look at that. Brian Rodriguez. You swap him, put him up front as a trekatist. Uh, sorry. As a false nine. Not the man you expect to be necessarily scoring the goals. And he's got himself into a grand position. And he's just taking his chance. Look at that, though. Keeper touched it, but... Uh, Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous effort. And I should actually praise him for that. Thrown again, K this time. Saloy with a counter attack. I don't know if you can hear that noise from that car outside. Rossi, very tight shot. Um, but yeah, one of my neighbors has got a really noisy car. We're probably going to hear it for a few seconds, unfortunately. Because he'll sit there and rev it before he drives off. Oh, the mic not might not put it. Oh my goodness, uh, the mic not might. It's going to be really tough for me to say. The mic might not pick it up. Zussi with the corner. Kansas City cleared. Okay, Rossi now brought down by Russell. You could book Russell if you like. Vela not enjoying being outright, but that's fine. We're one nil up. Seven shots, only one on target, which is the one we scored to their six and five. They haven't improved their numbers of shots, which is great. We've just got to do a little bit better with ours, which I think I'm going to drop that in. Um, we'll go to the dressing room. You are capable of better like that. Whoops, not individuals. We will do the... I have faith. There we go. Now, who we're bringing off? Well, we're not bringing off Hansen because there isn't anybody to bring him off for. Vela? Maybe. Hmm. You know what I might do, actually? And it wouldn't hurt to do it now. I'm going to take Vela off in favour of Latif Blessing. And Latif Blessing is going to play as my Mazala. And Green is going to go outright, as you know, he can play pretty much anywhere, but he did all right out there the one time he's played there. Hansen, hold on tight, mate. You're doing well. I mean, I suppose I could put Murillo over there and bring on Tony Leone, but I mean, Tony Leone isn't exactly uh, stellar skill, should we say. Anyway, back to the match. Let's go to the second half. And Blessing replaces Vela. Blessing is superb. He's a great player, I have to say. Um, and certainly, I would suggest better performance for the squad in many ways than Vela. Though, I have to say, Vela is not quite the man he was before uh, he got injured. Latif, Blessing has just been fouled in the box. We're going to have a penalty. And uh, that was a lovely little touch there, actually, by um, Rodriguez. He is very much enjoying that at false nine roll. Cifuentes puts it away. It's 2-0. 
Not quite 60 minutes, but that is a nice comfortable spot to be in, especially as we have stopped them. Or at least made enough adjustments they are not taking the pot shot at us that the pot shots at us that they were. And we're obviously able to turn things around. Elay with the shots. Pushed onto the bar, I think, there. Russell. Zussi, Russell again. Russell with the cross. We don't have the tallest defenders. That was good news. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Tony Leone. He'll be fine. And we will play for set pieces after all. You know what? last couple of highlights have been them pressing us. I'm going to go back to defences and see if that improves the situation. Walker on the ball puts the ball forward for Russell. Oh, I'm not sure who got Segura got in the way of that one. It is a corner, but at least it's not a goal. Zussi. Cleared. Rossi picks up the loose ball. Rossi. A little bit quiet. He's got a 6.8, but... Like I say, not the goal scorer I'd like him to be. Does he owe to Russell? Russell's shot is blocked. Defensive is not working for us. Let's go back to balanced. Bendik with the goal kick. Feels like we're now trying to hold off their onslaught. Farfan now. Ball forward to Rodriguez. He's loved that false nine. Oh, and off the bar. Green. Leone. Sifuentes takes a shot, but it cannons off the defender. Saloy now. Puts a ball for Bizio. Dia with the cross in. Oh my goodness. Farfan with a clearance. And we are at 89 minutes. Green's naggered. He's not necessarily played the business out there, but he's done all right, and he's done enough. It is over. That is the match. 2-0 to LAFC. 14 shots for on target today, 11-6. and six. Didn't look that way at the start, did it? Really did not. So uh, I'm very pleased that we were able to come out. 2-0 victors. Okay, so if we have a look at the schedule, obviously last time you saw us was against Columbus, where we lost 1-0, which was a bit disappointing. And as I mentioned to you, and I'm just going to drop it in here, just before that happened, we did lose the League's Cup final against Seattle. So uh, that might be part of why we weren't really performing very well in that game. But good news is we turned it around 4-2 at home against San Jose. Tony Leone, Danny Trejo getting two, and uh, Diego Rossi getting one. Danny Trejo not actually getting a lot of games this season, as you can see. So uh, that is his two goals for us. He is not a player I would keep. It's safe to say. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was during a bit of an injury-challenging time. But, you know, he got two goals. So what are you going to say about it? Diego Rossi, of course, got one on the 89th minute. After that, we were at home to Atlanta United, and we beat them 3-0. Jesus Murillo, Corey Baird, and Carlos Vela scoring. Him grabbing one in the 94th minute. Then after that, we faced off against Minnesota and uh, beat them 5-3 away. Vela getting two, Janela getting one, Rodriguez getting one, and Latif Blessing getting one. Um, and that took us to New York City after that. And wow, did we smash them 6-1. Uh, Murillo got one. Vela got the penalty and scored one. Hansen got one. Um, James Sands got an own goal. And Torres got one. So yeah, we smashed it. Absolutely smashed it out of the park. And then after that, away at Dallas, beat them comfortably 3-0. Mark Anthony, Mark Anthony K getting one. Carlos Vela and, of course, Jose Cifuentes. And as you know, we just beat Sporting Kansas City 2-0 with goals from Rodriguez and Cifuentes again. So that is that. What does it mean to the Western Conference? Oh, this is the, uh, yes, this is the conference thing, isn't it? The, the, the playoffs or whatever it is. Um, let's have a look at the tree. Anyway, all I really want to look at there we go. We've obviously qualified. But obviously the competition is ended. I'm going to continue to play out the season. I may very well do a, another video to review what comes after this. Um, but like I say, uh, in terms of, you know, just the division, which was all that was going to be included, we finished top. We played 34, 126, drawn five and lost three, which is... It's pretty stunning, really. Um, saying that, Philadelphia only lost three. 
in the uh, Eastern Conference, but they did draw 15, which is a big, big difference. Obviously, we managed to win those. But uh, I think the biggest thing is how few goals we conceded. 22 goals in total. I mean, we conceded four from Minnesota and San Jose, two from Chicago and two from Vancouver, but it's not many. Most of the time it was only one, so that really made all the difference. I mean, okay, we scored 80 goals too. I mean, closest to us, maybe New England scored 65. Anybody else? 67 there from San Jose. So, yeah, we knocked it out. Knocked it out of the park there as well. So, yeah, that is ultimately the key to our success. Not conceding goals and scoring them. Who knew? Um, but, yeah, okay, well, that brings us to the end of Versus 5 and MLS Madness. Um, we have been LAFC. Obviously, all that is left now is to go and check out how Chris Brawl's Chasing Lamely has done and uh, give them some love because uh, it's uh, their final episode as well. And uh, obviously, next thing to look out for will be Custom Profits' final review. And uh, we can find out who won. Will it be Team Rest of World or will it be Team GB? Only way to find out is to go and watch Custom Profits' video or, of course, go and watch all these and add it up yourself. Uh, but... Uh, as always, thank you very much, Mr. Custom Profit, for setting this up and running it for us. It's been fantastic fun to be a part of. And uh, I look forward to the next edition. And uh, in the meantime, I've been avoiding relegation. This has been Versus 5 and MLS Madness. I look forward to seeing you again.